great songs. You can speak influence on me. Or just a couple of, well, maybe almost a year back, maybe eight months ago, when I met Pete Seeker. Um, Pete and I had to talk about this guy. And Pete was like a tall guy, 95 or something. Kind of like a giant, giant spindly kind of giant with a banjo hanging on him. Looking at him down at me, talking about this guy. And he said, you know, last time I saw him, he was getting on a train. No, I was getting on a train. He was there. He was drunk. And he was, he was saying, i got to talk to you, Pete. I gotta tell you, I need to talk to somebody. And I, I gotta get this train. I gotta get going. I'll talk to you when I get back. <coughs> Good luck in your show. He was doing the show at Carnegie Hall. So he, he uh, played his show. He wore a gold lame jacket. Now he was a folk singer. And when he wore his gold lame jacket and sang all these songs that he'd written, they started booing him and throwing things at him. They weren't ready for him to be different from what they thought he was. It didn't set well with him. It's like he was destroying something that they thought he was. And he was moving on. So. They were throwing things at him. He wanted to give them all their money back. You know, he went to the box office and said, just give these people their money back. I don't care. You know. On the way out, you know, they booed him and booed him. And then, uh, and I was talking with, with Pete about that. He said, yeah, I wish I hadn't gotten on the train. And I said, well, you know, I have a guy like that. I, I knew him. And I called him up and he, uh, he was uh, in a lot of trouble because he was, he was, he was kind of really a rocker and he was great, but he was under a lot of pressure to do things and he didn't want to do them and he didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to be who they wanted him to be and he, he, uh, he just couldn't do it. And, and I called and I called his managers and I, my managers called his managers and I was trying to hook myself up and I could, I'd just like to talk to this guy. Because I've been around and, and I just want to talk to him because he's so good. But, uh, and Pete and I just looked at each other and said, well, neither one of us can get to those guys. And it's a sad story. Neither one of them, neither one of them made it. But, uh, Pete made it. And he's great. And this is a song here by the man he was talking about. A real poet from Greenwich Village, one of the greatest songwriters of the of the era. Someone that uh, has been overlooked, I think. Warm in my mind, 
visions and shadows that shine. Till one day I returned, and I found that they were victims of the vines. A race around the stars, a journey through the universe of blades of changes. Share in a memory 